Hi everyone, this is Tapasya and let's begin with our today's uh, new topic that is on Janet Winterson. She was born in 1959 and she is currently alive. So she is around age 59 and in this uh, video we are going to learn about six important works of Janet Winterson. But before starting with the works, let me tell you that these postmodern writers like Janet Winterson, they have an important uh, theme and you'll find that every postmodern writers are related or some or the other way they connect to that particular theme. So the theme is about the non-conventional and the comic effects in their work. Okay, so any of the serious work which talks about a comic uh, relation with each other is uh, the you know the concept that every postmodern writer uses. Secondly, uh, you will find that uh, there are fragmentive uh, narratives, and you'll find the sh multiple shifts of chronology and locations in their work. Okay, so these two are the important points that you really need to understand about the postmodern writers. Now let's begin with Janet Winterson's first work that is Oranges are not only fruits. Okay, Oranges are not only fruit and this uh, work was being uh, published in 1985. Now uh, this is a widespread award winner work. This work especially talks about a lesbian girl who was brought up by a religious mother. Now by the religious mother, I mean that this lady was so religious that she did not want a child uh, to be through, you know, uh, with any of the physical relations. She wanted the child in a sexless way. So she adopted a girl. Okay, and this girl was named as Janet. But what happens is she was so religious that she tried to teach her girl all the religious values. And since she taught every religious value to her girl, she was a very holy, very devo devoted towards the uh, religious values. But then once while she was grown up, she worked in an ice cream uh, shop. And there she meets a girl called Milan and they fell into love and there you find a, a lesbian relationship that happens okay so when you see some contradictory uh, terms together first of all she says that uh, the mother is very religious she also made Janet a very religious very holy very de devoted but then later you cannot uh, you know have a foot right on any of the uh, child that howsoever he or she is going to uh, grow up with so uh, this is uh, one thing second thing is that you will find that this novel is uh, related to buildings roman you know what exactly is buildings roman i'm not going too deep but yes buildings roman is a character development and you'll find that this particular novel is showing a character development of Janet okay then moving on to the next work of Janet Winterson that is uh, passion and this was been published in 1987 you'll find this work is a Picaris novel and uh, this is about a, a, a Vatinian uh, a woman who lives in uh, Venice so uh, she is a Venetian woman and you'll see that how this uh, lady is being enslaved okay and she is being rescued by a man called Henry who worked as a cook in a Napoleon army right so this uh, work passion actually relates with the warlike thing correct so uh, Janet is also giving us uh, overview of the warlike conditions where people have been enslaved and a man who works into the Napoleon army is trying to rescue someone else correct 
then moving on to the next work of uh, janet uh, winterson that is written on my body now this is one of the interesting work that i have ever read and uh, this was published in 1992 and not going to going into much details about this work i want you people to read this work because you know the reader keeps wondering about the um, gender into this work okay that what exactly the gender is maybe it could be a girl it could be a boy okay who because the gender is not at all revealed throughout the novel and the second important uh, thing about this novel is that we do not understand that the relations are homosexual or heterosexual into this novel so uh, the reader throughout the novel keeps wondering about that what type of gender what type of relation is being maintained in this novel so it is one of the interesting novel i would uh, suggest you people to read it uh, then the next uh, novel is lighthouse keeping this was one of the celebrated work of uh, janet winterson and you will find that uh, this work deals with a very simple plot that is a girl um she is a scottish girl and she is an orphan and she has been living in a lighthouse uh like she was kept in a li lighthouse and she lives throughout okay this is a smaller and a simple uh, concept of this particular novel then the next um uh, novel of janet winterson is uh, stone god and this was uh, published in 2007 it deals with a spy it is actually a spy fiction and it deals with the harshness of war okay and second that how technology is de dehumanizing okay and it brings up the matter that how uh, the technological things are trying to put every human away from themselves okay so the title itself a uh, stone god has a spe pessimistic uh, point of view and you will see throughout the novel there are very negative uh, ideas very negative themes very negative uh, you know uh, impressions that you would uh, get then uh, coming to the uh, last novel of uh, janet winterson that is gap of time and this was just published recently that is 2015 and it talks about the retelling of william shakespeare's winter's tale so in this uh, video we have learned about the six important works of janet winterson i'll be repeating it again the first is oranges are not only the fruit and this was published in 1985 the second is second book of janet is uh, passion which was published in 1987 the third work of uh, her is written that is written on my body and this was published in 1992 the fourth work is love uh, sorry lighthouse keeping uh, fifth work is stone god this was published in 2007 and the last work that we have uh, known about is gap of time this was published in 2015 that's all for this video thank you so much for listening this video